Welcome back. It is time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTO mailbox. I can't believe April is nearly in the books. Dr. Lori, is this the time of year when people do some spring cleaning? Maybe they find some hidden things in their house? As usual, Heather Abraham, right you are. <laughs> they do, they do. All kinds of spring cleaning. The stuff is going out of the basement. We're having yard sales. Let's clean it out. You know, it's the time, right? All right, so let's get to our first item and tell us what we have here. Okay, our first item, and thank you to all the viewers who send in these items, many of them very unusual. A 1962 Civil Defense cracker tin in the Cold War era. It, would, it was a day's worth of crackers. Um, it cost 37 cents to feed one person these crackers, and it was an economic solution to feed the nation after a nuclear war. Oh, that makes me so, so, so this, sad. This would be like if you were in a shelter and you would like yes. stockpile in your shelter and this would be a container yes. of crackers. My gosh. Yes, and someone still had the crackers unopened. Wow. So from 1962. It was very interesting to see, unusual to see. Yeah. But hey, you know, you never know what you're cleaning out of the basement for the yard sale. Put right. things <laughs> into perspective. I eat a sleeve of crackers in a sitting. I you know? <laughs> Maybe they didn't measure that for Heather Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> she needs three tins for a day. We need more shelf space for Heather. All right, see, I, this is very historic, but I'm not sure how much it's really worth. So what did you write? I, I went $35. I almost said that. I said 65 They're worth $65, and it's interesting to know that they trade pretty regularly. No kidding. Really? Buy them. Wow. Yeah. All right. Huh. I, 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 I learned I so much from that. our time together with Dr. Lori. All right, <laughs> next up we have some lamps and they were sent in by Joanne. Yeah, so a pair of lamps, the sort of boy and girl lamps are relatively popular in the mid 20th century style. They're ceramic, they're a pair. They have gilt details, so they go in with gold leaf and they kind of highlight certain areas. He with his top hat and she in her typical 19th century ball gown. They're made by Ashley. Um, they are about 12 inches tall, and I'm told they're in working condition. Derek, you have something coming out of your head. Audra? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Did you see that? Just the, the way that it comes out, it's like just... It's oh, just... oh, the post of the, the lamp comes right out of the, the little figurine. Yep. Yeah, so when yep. you say Ash, Ashley, is see? that the company? That's the company that made them. <laughs> So and now is that well known? Like would people in the know recognize that and say, oh, these are valuable. Like Ashley Furniture? Yeah, figural, their figural lamps are very, very popular. Lots of companies made them. So it's not like the best company that made them or the worst company that made them. Uh, but they're pretty nice. They're interesting boudoir lamps. So Ooh. think of uh, Lucy and Ricky Ricardo in their twin beds mm -hmm. and the two nightstands and one <laughs> lamp on each one. That's basically what they're for. All right. I, I want to sleep on the boy side of the bed. You <laughs> Take a look at my boy statue. I don't know what to say. <laughs> You'd better just show your number. $85. <laughs> I said $85. Joanne's uh, lamps are worth $100 for the pair. Oh, wow. we were pretty close though yeah, on that, that one. That was not bad, pretty I close. don't think. Yeah. All right, what's our next item? A love seat for Mike, I think. A love seat for Mike. Now, not to be confused with a settee. A settee usually hmm. seats uh, like two and a half people. This would see two very thin people, in my opinion. I don't know. <laughs> Early 1900s, carved wood and upholstery. Um, you'll notice the paw feet. The feet look like they're a form of a paw. Yeah. And the crest rail, which is that rail in the back, has a nice decoration at the top, which is also, of course, applied ornament. It's a nice love seat. It's in good condition. It's in the Edwardian style. Uh, was it made in America, and is it made of oak? It is not made of oak. <laughs> I love you. And it was not, it was made in America. It's rosewood. Okay. Rosewood. Yep. I don't know. I've been watching so much Dr. Lori on social media. People going in and refurbishing furniture. I even yes. saw one where they took an old dresser and sawed it in half and made it two end tables, and they were beautiful. So yes, they're. They're very, these people are very talented with yes. the DIY, you know, repurposing stuff. Just be, be careful before you go sawing the thing in half. Make sure I know, I can tell you whether it's a Chippendale or not. That's right. That's the only thing I said. That's yeah. right. No, okay. that's really smart. I said 450. I said 350. 
$250 is what it's worth. <gasps> All we tied right. it up. I tied it up. There right. we go. I love it when everybody wins. And you know what? Everybody does win when we spend time with you, Dr. Lori. We learn so much. I win too. I win too, because I love to spend time with you guys. Thank you. You know Thank what there should be? There should be a Dr. Lori hotline. Oh. So you can just call her stat any moment that yeah. you need appraisal help. I, I'm sure she probably the has red that. red phone. Do it by video. Thank you, okay. Dr. Lori. Thanks, Dr. <laughs> thank you. And Bye -bye. thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.